So this is a cool uh, solid wood painter's box. You can see there's paint on the outside. And when you open it, there are these compartments for paints. And there's a place where you can put the palette here. You can slip it in uh, this way. Uh, it's, a, it's a particular brand. You can see the brand here, Groombacher. So that's kind of a fancy brand. Someone had wanted this for $75 free shipping. And uh, we just decided to take $10 off and do proper shipping. Um, so this sold for $65. This is a nice, not very vintage, uh, burgundy 100% wool throw blanket. And it has a little tag that says, Dunroven house. I don't think you can see it. It's too far away. My camera does not want to focus uh, But we sold this for $36.99 This is a cute little needlepoint cross stitch um, It's five inches by five inches and we do really well with these this one is even though it's very little it is handmade and it sold for $20 this is a vintage solid brass menorah um, and it does not have a brand on it or anything we just thought it was awesome it has a little bit of wax on it which you kinda can't help if it's been used but I did disclose that and show it and it sold for fifty dollars to someone in the global shipping program I was wondering why we might be selling only green hats some of which have beer logos on them and it's because of St. Patrick's Day I completely forgot about St. Patrick's Day but now I remember that people definitely buy hats before St. Patrick's Day so this is a green hat with Heineken um, it is a US Open 2004 hat and um, it sold for $25 it's a great price for a little hat. This is a cute set of uh, stationery. This is paper with envelopes. Looks like a kind of a fancy brand. And then this is a pack of greeting cards. Just blank greeting cards from Pomegranate, which is kind of a fancy brand too. And I was just looking last night and I saw that there was a price here. And it said $8.95. Uh, originally, <clears throat> but I charged $15 for this. Um, and I think I could do that because these are probably not available in stores anymore, and it's a very particular artist. Um, so I felt okay charging $15. And this was also $15. And they were two different listings, but the same person bought both of them. So $30 worth of stationery. So at first when I saw these... Um, I thought they were just like junky forks that someone had thrown away um, because we actually got them in a box of free silverware and, you know, house utensils and stuff like that. Like you've seen boxes like these at yard sales. Basically, someone was cleaning up their yard sale and they said, just take this box of junk. And of course, Jay was like, sure, <laughs> because honestly, you never know what's in those boxes. And... A lot of times you can find, like we say, you know, high quality knives, steak knives, chef knives, um, or pieces of flatware that you can sell. So most of it was junk, um, but these kind of stuck out to me because they looked weird and they looked old. Um, these just look junky, but um, these are the ones that stuck out to me with the um, patterns in the metal that's in the wood. Um, so I did some searches on eBay of antique forks, and I initially looked for three-pronged forks. And the ones that were coming up were called Civil War era forks and utensils. So apparently these are from the 1850s, uh, back in, you know, the Civil War, you know, middle 1800s in the U.S. So they sell for a lot of money. Uh, these ones are not in great shape. You can see here the metal is broken. 
uh, there it should be across and you know they're a little bit rough and a lot of times people have large lots of them um, this is only um, five and they don't match but I sold these for eighty dollars so that is a great sale uh, for stuff that I found in a pile of what someone thought was garbage these are a pair of vintage Wrangler mugs this one is ceramic this one is plastic um, we have a Wrangler plant, or we used to have a Wrangler plant in our town, so these are not a surprising find. Um, I actually found another one of these much, much later, like a year later. So I could have put this as a pair with the other one, but I didn't. I was just lazy. But these sold for $25 to someone in Global Shipping Program. These are new in the box, uh, ceramic porcelain napkin rings. They're very pretty. Um, I don't know where they came from. They have a label. They didn't have a price on them. So I put them up for $40 and they sold. This is a Land's End 2XL black dress shirt. Part of our plethora of shirts and it sold for $20. This is a cute pair of Union Bay overalls in kind of a olive green, which is a rare find. Usually you're finding denim. Um, and these actually sold on Bonanza for $36.99. These are a pair of Banana Republic khakis. Pretty good size, $33.34. And they sold for $25. Okay, we had talked about in the last podcast buying a huge lot of what we called Quimper, uh, but people told us it was called Kimper. Um, I never studied French, so I studied Spanish. So French pronunciation <laughs> is something that I am not native to. Um, so anyway, this is uh, just a replacement top that was part of the lot. Um, it might have come with something else, but we didn't see anything that it fit. But I sold this just by itself. This is the first piece of the whole lot for $25. Um, I knew it would be rare uh, for someone to be able to buy just a top. So I priced it at $25 and it sold. This is a totally 90s looking Bush Gardens hat. For those of you who don't know what Bush Gardens is, it's like a big, uh, like a Six Flags, uh, like big amusement park thing. Uh, there's one in Virginia, and I remember going to Bush Gardens for our eighth grade trip to Washington, D.C. So this very much looks like one that we would have bought uh, in eighth grade in, let's see, what year was that? 1993. Bush Gardens trip and maybe the person who bought this had the same idea a little bit of nostalgia or not I have no idea but this sold for $20 uh, which is a great price for a cheap little <laughs> souvenir hat this is a beautiful um, echo brand vintage uh, scarf in kind of a Madras plaid look. Uh, usually you see these made in Ireland or Scotland. Um, I call it boucle, but that's totally not how you pronounce it. It's got that kind of loopy wool. Um, yeah, I can't pronounce French words, so I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, it's a wool blend, and it's sold for $20 global shipping. One of my favorite things to buy in Jay's 2 our wool blankets. This is a, we call this a satin edged blanket. Um, this isn't really satin, but it's like a, almost like a polyester satin, but it helps keep the edges from fraying. Um, this is quite vintage. You can see it's a Mariposa blanket. Um, I love the labels. Those are always my favorite part of the blanket. Now this has some damage on the satin edges, uh, some stains, and there's actually like a cigarette burn on one of them, which is 
kind of uh, not a great thing to have, but the cool thing is someone could repair it, put a patch over it, and it's still a beautiful blanket. Uh, it's a full-size blanket, so it's a nice size for a bed, um, and this sold for $50. This is an all leather uh, ammo belt uh, for, I believe they are shotgun shells. They look like that size. And the interesting thing is someone wrote on the inside, South Korea 1961, Neil B. So if that's true, that's cool. Uh, anyone could have written that, but uh, that was an interesting part of it. Um, and someone bought this for $40. This is another Henkel's knife that we have. It is a four inch blade. So it's kind of like a paring knife or a steak knife, something like that. Um, we sold it for $25, but after we sold it, we realized on the blade, you can't see it in the video, but it said Spain, even though this is a German company and most of their knives are made in Germany. So we had a problem with a buyer last week who got the knife and then said that we said it was made in Germany, but it actually says Spain on it, which is something that uh, both of us missed. Um, but we wrote to the buyer and said, look, this is made in Spain. We thought it was made in Germany. Uh, we will give you a $5 refund for the mistake, or you can... Uh, cancel the order and we'll refund you. Uh, he opted for the $5 discount, which is great. So this still sold for $20. Uh, but now I went back to all my knives and double checked them by hand to make sure I said they were made in Spain if they were made in Spain and Germany if they were made in Germany because it does make a difference to some buyers. Okay, a lot of you guys know I definitely got into buying perfume and cologne uh, because Mikey one time mentioned it and I thought, wow, I did not realize people bought either used perfume or just perfume in general. This is new in box, uh, Bodacious uh, by Graham Webb. There is a little bit of writing on the box, but um, the bottle is new, never used. I'm just going to keep it in the box for now. Uh, I generally spend between three to five dollars on perfume. This perfume sold for two hundred and fifty dollars, which was an absolute shock to us. First of all, when I researched it, and second of all, when it actually sold, uh, we were eating dinner last night, <laughs> and it said two forty nine ninety nine, and I thought I was reading the phone wrong. I thought it was actually twenty four ninety nine, and I had to double check, and I'm like. <laughs> That just sold for $250, so I was thrilled at this sale. Sales like this help boost your weekly numbers for sure. So keep an eye out for this brand. It's Graham Webb, Bodacious. These are a pair of vintage suede moccasin toe leather boots. Uh, they have crepe soles and... Uh, they are very cool, size 11, and they sold to someone in Hawaii, and the price was $46.99.